Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. Got another full breakdown video for you. Last weekend, I put out the full Saints. I'm going to do something very similar this weekend. Today will be uh, more of the pass-heavy formations. The blitz is the, you know, the formations you want to use to stop pass plays. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the video. Next up, we got the Nickel Blitz 2. Let's go ahead and let's just pinch everything. Pinch the line, pinch the linebackers. QB contain. And then I'm just gonna bring this dude down here and try to try to use her some guys opposite the line. And then there we just get a free runner. So I don't know what that plan was on the defense, but let's watch the replay. Almost looked like a read option. They just let this guy go, and then he stuck around just long enough to you know see what was going on with the ball. But good play. So there we go again. QB contain. Step in this gap here. Wait for the long play art animation. And of course they want to hit me with a sweep, but you know what? That's fine. <laughs> Shut that down. Here we go again. I said I'm just going to come in this gap here. And I'm getting caught up, so it must be a run. But you can see it doing a good job against the run. Typically, if they jump out, typically if they jump out and grab you like that, that's why. So there we go. Now we got them both in the line here. And I was all over that, but you know what? The defense was solid anyway, so still pretty good. So after we pinch everything, we're just base aligning. We're just base aligning and and showing blitz to get that look where that cornerback is down, where that linebackers are both at the line like this. Oh, and then he dropped back and almost got a pick if he'd have, if he'd have tried to catch it. So pinching. Pinching the D-line, baseline, show blitz. Now we got everybody in there. Like I said, if we want to, we could we could do the QB contain. Let's go ahead and let's work that out. Like I said, I'm just hanging around at the line here, and then we get a sack from the dude off the edge. So good play. Next up out of the nickel 245, we have the Overstorm Brave. So same thing, I'm just going to pinch, base line, show blitz, and then typically if I just keep showing blitz, <laughs> it'll essentially get this guy down into the box like he's supposed to be, but that's fine. So like I said, you're going to see heat coming off of this anyway. I'll use the free safety in the middle here like a linebacker, and if the running back doesn't go out on a play, you know what I mean, like I'll typically be able to just, just act as a zone. As you can see, we just have heat coming right up the middle. I don't know if the running back went out or not. The running back stayed home, but it still didn't matter. As you can see, he just gets right off that, just punches him in the mouth. But uh, this was, you know, I think they had six blockers and I was setting six guys, so it still worked out. All I know is I had an additional defender, which is typically what I want. So here we go, one more time. Like I said, if I can get those DTs pinched together like that, that's going to work even better coming off this off the outside here. So like I said, right there, I mean, he gets picked up. Like I said, we have everything we need, but, you know, comebacks are going to beat man. It's just, it's, it's just part of that. Next up out of the nickel 245, we have the cover two. I just like to put one of these defensive ends, typically either, you know, like right here, there's two, there's three receivers on this side. So just put him on a, on a, cloud, on a hard flat or a cloud flat. Use the guy on either the tight end or the running back. If you use the guy on the running back, a lot of times he doesn't go out on a route, then you can go ahead and free roam. But if he does go on a route, you got to follow him. That's the thing. So like I said right there, I mean, there wasn't much. So Carson Wentz is chucking it away. So like I said, I mean, if, it's, whether, if it's three receivers to one side, you want to put them on a hard flat on that side. But if, or if it's on the open side of the field, you want to put them on a hard flat to the larger side of the field. Like I said, right there. I said two receivers on that side. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to align him and use the guy on the running back. And then 
Like I said, I can double up these guys, and then we're just getting getting pressure from, you know, regular linemen. So right there, two receivers. Align this guy. Use the running back. Like I said, we're just getting we're just getting pressure sacks. Like we're just getting coverage sacks right here. Let's go. Don't even really have to do much. Like I said hard flat. Cover the guy on the running back. It's that simple. And like I said, he's not there. So eventually he will be. Like I said, I gotta get over on him. I can't just let him go free. He did a check and release and I shut him down. So there we go. One more time. Like I said, I want to align this guy. Don't give him any inside or outside releases. Just line him straight up over him. And then we're just gonna get a bunch of we're getting a bunch of slants, which you know, hey, it's gonna be tough to stop with a man coverage. So slants are still gonna be the enemy. There we go. We got two wide to one side. Get this guy over here. And like I said, I can just freelance. Oh, and the running back went out on a route and I wasn't there. Luckily, I got time to, <laughs> to catch up, though. So, you know, good play. Good solid base defense. Next up, we got the corner three blitz. So this play here, all I'm going to do is base the line and press. Cornerback's out kind of far. Um, also want to go ahead, I'm going to pinch everybody. Pinch the linebackers and pinch the line. And then I'm just going to bring this guy down here into this gap. And then I'm going to, once the ball is hiked, I'm going to run across to my assignment. Just trying to pull as much guys as possible. But of course, the Eagles keep doing these things. All, all video. So same setup. Pinch everything, base the line, press. Bring this guy out here. Bring this guy down. Like I said, then when this happens, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sprint across. Which, you know, like I said, there's definitely that that's that's one of the concerns is that streak, but I said there was pressure, so let's go and let's watch the play. I mean obviously my, this guy got right off the edge here. You can see how they, they pick me up because I'm down in the box where I am, and then you get a free a free release on the opposite side. So like I said, pinching everyone. Base the line press. Bring this guy down. And I'm going to rotate in when the ball is hiked. Like I said, my assignment's still there. Um, you know, the outsides are, are vulnerable underneath in all cover threes. Next up, we got the silver shoot pinch. Uh, I mean, this play right here, all I'm going to do is uh, base, is all I'm going to do is um, base the line and show blitz. I don't really want to have the cushions here. So I can go ahead and I can, um, you know, bring those guys back down by once again showing blitz. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you can see this isn't all that man blitz. We're gonna get pressure from a couple different areas. Um, you know, we just have to just have to hold down the backside. I mean, you don't really have to do anything. The play sets up pretty good as is. Just want to kind of get in one of these gaps, and then um, you know, don't get caught up like that though. As you can see, we get a sack fumble off the edge. But that's the idea. I mean, you're gonna get that. You know, you're gonna get that that same typical pressure you're getting from man blitzes. So no real adjustments. I said maybe bring this guy over here. If he's not in the right area. Like I said, this guy he's supposed to be down more. But um, but that's it. I mean, like I said, I'll just get over the center. I don't want to get caught up. But you know, you see the, the pressure is gonna get it, you know, take care of a lot of run plays as well. Next up out of the two four five double A gap, we have the nickel dog two. This player right here, I'm just gonna send the house. Blitz all. I don't really have to do the uh, the other part, but I'm just going to send the house blitz all. I want this cornerback down a little bit further, but this is just when you really want to want to send a, a, um, you know an all-out blitz. I'm just going to put this dude on a bluff blitz, and that's it. I'm just going to motion him in, use him over the middle, and uh, you'll you'll get some pretty good heat. You can see he has to flip it out so quick the receiver's not even ready. You can also blitz all and use one of these one of these linebackers inside too, so I can put him in a mid read. It'll have a similar effect, and I'm just going to go ahead and put him. Put my guys in one of these. Um, you can bring the cornerback a little bit closer by putting them by uh, by showing or by base aligning. And then, like I said, I'll just put them on a put them on a QB contain. Like I said, that's just you're sending a lot of heat. That's that's the that's the bottom line here. So here we go one more time. Put my dude in the middle third or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Mid read doesn't really matter. Then QB contain. 
And here we go. So I'll hold, I'll hold the base a little bit. And then, I mean, that's just, you know, <laughs> what are you going to do about stuff like that? So blitz all. You know, whatever, just put them in some sort of cover just so I don't get sucked in. And waiting for the play to start. There we go. Can't run something like this too often. I mean, a simple, you know, like something like this where it's only a five wide receiver set. I'll just run it as is. But, uh, but you can't run something like this too often because people just start hitting slants on you and stuff. There's there's definitely opportunities. But I mean, you know, it's it's a good play. You can't run something like this too often. I mean, you can run it as is too. That cornerback will do a pretty good job getting in regardless you just kind of have to sit home with this guy and then like I said if you get a run like that you see how the defense opens up so here we go one more time like I said I can do it just like this just keep you contained like I said just hold this guy in and I over pursued on the on the coverage I don't know why <laughs> you can also do it I mean there's a there's a defensive play I'm going to put out like this where you can just kind of confuse your opponent and make it look the same. And you can also use it right up the gut there. So you can go ahead, you can stand them both up, blitz one, and then just have the other, you know, to use her. And this will get an A gap a lot of times. You see right there, that's a, that's a screen, which is why. So, you know, it's hard to can tell from that. So I'll go ahead and I'll stand him up, blitz one, you know, user the other to the tight end side. And we'll get a, oh, he just got away from that. Carson Wentz making plays. I'll have to watch the replay on that. I gave up on the play because I thought he had it. Let's see the magic man here. So he just, oof, sidesteps that. So I'll stand him up, put one on a blitz. That's all she wrote. I'd say probably blitzing the other one would make more sense, and I could just kind of try to pull coverage out here a little bit. Now, like I said, I mean, we're just getting heat right there, real quick and easy. So stand them up again. Pull on a blitz. Like I said, I'll just use her over here. So we're just getting them in real quick and they're gonna have to get out that quick throw so I should probably should have hard flatted let's do that hard flat except by the two four five double a gap we have the cover two this play right here all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blitz all spread the line and then I could just I have my choice like right here I can use her this guy because there's nobody really outside there so if I really just want to use her one of these outside plays I mean you know you can see that that'll give it extra pressure it's not typically how I'd run it if it, if it was a smaller package though so like I said right here I would want to use her this this guy right here just bring him in and use her Bennett here and we got another run play you can see these holes they, they fill up quick on these on these blitzes I mean you can just blitz all and just bring this guy in and use her that backside too that's a, that's an option I said right here I mean I'm giving up should have hard flat. He still only got a couple. He only got a yard up at best, though. That's really up to you about the hard flatting. Like I said, spread. Bring Bennett over. Just so I can get that outside linebacker in on the other side. That's pretty much the idea. And like I said, that's the cover two beating route. Nothing you can do about that. So here we go one more time. Spread. Blitz all. So we could just we'll leave I'll leave him in a um, in a blitz look because I'm just gonna drop back anyway you know depending on if I get stuck up on the block and then boom we get that hit that edge heat I have to watch what happened there he just got off that edge with the quickness let me see if he got blocked or not like I say he didn't really get blocked I mean to see he just kind of because of the way this is I mean he just shoots off in the, the, the tackle really didn't have much of a chance And 
Now, like I said, you can run it like this. In those scenarios, I mean, that's just... I keep forgetting the hard flat. I might be taken away on that. So all I'm really doing is just spread my D-line. Blitz and all. Here, because of the cornerback over there, I just want to come over and use this guy. And then, like I said, I'm just going to... Oh, man, we get that sack again. I had to be Bennett. Yep. Is that real easy? Lots to replay. So we're just getting edge heat right here. Like he said, it doesn't even get blocked. Doesn't even get blocked. This comes in free. So shift my oh. So just shifting my. So just spread my linebackers. Like I said on this scenario, because of the cornerbacks over there, I got to use it the other side. So we're gonna drop Bennett back this time. So all that really matters is the coverage. So that might be a cover two play right there. And he only gets a couple yards. I mean, you know, that's pretty much the idea. Here we go, here we go. So spread them linebackers, spread that line. Lefty, lefty. In a play like this under center, I'd probably just send the house. You know, just using one of these safeties. Just send them all. Because it's most likely a run. <laughs> so if that's what they're going to do. And then, like I said, I'm covering the safety anyway. And then we're just getting, you know, they're still going to be fast throws. So here we go, one more time. Spreading that line. Like I said, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be next to that other zone. So we're going to come over here. I still got to get over to the right side. That doesn't change that fact. And boom, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> got to get it out quicker. He's getting sacked type of deal. So I got to play those short routes. See what the pressure looked like. Unblocked. He gets chopped, though. You know what I'm saying? The running back did a good job of chopping him, but he got unblocked for the most part. So there we go. Blitz all. I want to move this cornerback around pre-snap so he can be in a better position. I can do that, too. I don't have to keep leaving him where he's at. I'm just expecting the pressure to get home anyway, so not really worrying about it. Looking like a run play, if I had to guess. Yup. Like I said, that's the only thing. This is not a great run defense. This is a pass defense only. There we go, one more time. So I pretty much got to get over to that right side. Take away that slot defender. And we're on that, but I was too slow. So I should have had I should have had my, my faster defender on this spot. Typically want to have a faster faster guy who's doing what Bennett's doing. If I have a faster outside linebacker, I'd put him here, and then I get sucked in on the on the play art there. Typically want a faster guy doing what you're doing with Bennett. A better guy to use her. He's only like 70 speed at max. Like I said, I'm not really getting much. And then, like, I didn't even have the athleticism to turn around. Like, I was all over the route. So, I'll put a faster guy there. And like I said, you can use her like this also. This is a similar concept to something I put out. And you're just going to use a McCordy here in the middle. You should get some pretty good A gap heat and then right there, boom. You know what I'm saying? It looks like you got a big lane, but you don't. So like I said, if I got one yellow zone, I could use that. Make that my inside. Like right here, we only have Yeah, we got three tight ends on one side, so I'll just send them all. So a couple of ways you can do this, like I said, I mean, I'll just, I could just send the house like this, user McCory as my inside guy. I got three receivers close, so I can, you know, since it's going to be a short window anyway. And then we actually, you know, I, <laughs> I let the underneath guy go and he ran out of bounds, so I'll take that. But that was definitely a shot play. So here we go, I'm going to blitz all again. See if we can get that A gap. And we're getting another run, which like I said, it'll shut down the run pretty good. Doing it that way. Let's get a little pressure though. Go ahead and we'll do the uh, we'll do the QB contain just to get a little bit more outside uh, outside presence and then you know I'm the user. I got a large area to user, but I still do a good job. He doesn't get anything. So I'll set that up one more time with the QB contain. See so if we can get a sack. 
I gotta get over here though. I'm in a bad spot. I just want to start off over here. Go ahead and put them on that hard flat. And we're definitely getting sacked here. Way too long of a play action, buddy. Next up, we got the mid blitz. If they're under center, I'd say bringing the uh, defender that's covering the running back down to this into this gap will help get a lot of pressure. As you can see, it's just going to send a lot of heat. If they have an empty backfield, I say it'd be best just to to use one of these defensive linemen and bring him in. But this is not an empty backfield, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to bring this guy over so he can cover his area. You can also stand these guys up and send it like this. It'll look it'll look somewhat like it could be you know like it's not the same set the same you know mid blitz, but it'll get a gap pressure like you see right here. So that's that's something to think about. It'll also stop the run well. So those are pretty much the three variations. You just have to decide. Like I said, if it's an empty backfield, I'd say motioning in this guy. You know, like I said, if it's an empty backfield, bringing this guy in and then standing him up into his own. This is not an empty backfield, but I'm going to do it anyway. Like I said, that's not you know that's not the best way to do it against the run, obviously, um, because then I'm a little bit out of position. So I would say against the run, like I said, best way to do it. Anytime they're under center or against the run, bring this guy down like this. It's the best way to do it against the run. And this looks like a run play, so and I actually didn't. I got blown off the ball, so. If they're running potential outside runs, I think this might be the best way to go. Um, bringing this guy down. If it's an inside run, this is one of the better ways to go, believe it or not. It doesn't really look like it, but it is. Um, and then if it's an empty backfield, bringing this guy in. Um, a lot of times we'll get the other guy off the edge for like the quarterback so if it's like a shotgun or something um, But this way obviously is not that good against the run That's probably the weakest way against the run because you can't really use it in the middle as you can see right there So three variations He like said right here. I'll just do this one because I'm gonna guess inside run Or um, you know, it could be you know, like I said right there I mean the guy just like there's just it looks like there's a huge lamp in the middle But the way they blitz in it just closes up quick and I guess I thought I hit random gun, but I'm not really getting any gun looks at all. So, <laughs> so like I said, I mean, I'll just, like I said, right here, if this is a possible inside, outside run, this is going to be a good setup. Although, you know, that you can get caught up on a block a lot quicker there. And like I said, you're getting pressure pretty much every way, just from a different way. Like here you got outside, you know, that variation, you'll get it outside on both sides. Um, you know, the other variation, you'll get it uh, up the middle. So, you know, pressure on all sides. Next up, we got the cover one hole press. So this play right here, I mean, I'm just going to spread the line, pinch the, the linebackers, or, uh, or blitz the linebackers, and then bring this guy in. This is best used against like empty backfields and like certain gun formations because it's harder to, to, to do the run play uh, like I did there. This is really best used against like you know gun formations and a lot of times empty backfields. So I'll just take the guy that's on the running back side, motion him in like this, and you know a lot of times it'll help get a free release for the other side, like it did right there. Go ahead and watch the replay. It's going to be best when your opponent's uh, running back isn't going on a pass block like he didn't there. But bottom line is, you know, anytime you get a free release in this game from anybody, it's it's a it's a plus <laughs> because it's just not easy to get. This is probably the the best way to get a free a free rusher um, throughout this entire formation. And as far as the coverage goes, the coverage is just adequate. I mean, it's just a, it's just a mid blitz. Like I said right here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that again. The mid, it's just a mid blitz essentially with a safety, so that you don't give up. You know, you have the less chance of giving up a big play. That's really, really it. And like I said, you can see how consistent it is with getting a, a free runner off the edge. Next up, out of the three, three, five odd, we have the LB cross show two or three show two. So this right here, I'm just going to baseline because that guy's on the wrong side to start. Just want him in a little bit closer to the line. And then I'm going to want to uh, to spread my uh, my defensive line here. And that's pretty much it. This is a play that's really meant to get a lot of pressure up the middle. Um, I mean, they're going to send, uh, and then they're going to throw screens. So it's really hard to get a gauge on that. So like I said, I can just base a line. 
I'm gonna bring this guy over. If I really wanna kick the pressure up a notch, I can send him on a blitz. And this is pretty much it. Like I said, I just wanna spread everybody. Spread everybody and then uh, and then re redo the uh, QB contain. And waiting for the play to start here. Like I said, we're just gonna get a lot of looping pressure right up the middle. Let's go and let's watch the replay. Like I said, I'm not really trying to, you know, I can send that extra guy and you can see how they all just kind of create a lane for one of these guys should pretty much get in every time. So just spread the defensive air, the defensive line and the linebackers as much as you can to create outside attention by the blockers. Next up, we got the cover four, four drop. This is just like the cover four drop show too. It's just a really good, um, it's a really good defense. I mean, you can base a line. And um, show blitz if I can just get the, uh, you know, I would say pinching the line, base aligning, and, and showing blitz is a really good setup uh, against the run, which just looks like it might be. But ultimately, you're just going to give up. There's not a lot of, uh, you know, you're not going to get a lot of, of openings. That's the point. Like I said, you're not going to give up much. Use this on third and ten. You're not going to give up ten. That's the bottom line. So like I said, really don't need any adjustments. You know I mean, like I, I just, you can just run it just like this, and it's going to be really effective. So another really effective base defense out of the cover four, um, which is one of the better in the game. I mean, it's just how it is. Um, you know, you get good. The safeties play the run really well um, in any cover four drop. Uh, like I said, just, you know, not a lot of passing lanes. You might give up small stuff, but nothing else. Except out of the 335 wide, we have the cover one robber. This play here, all I'm going to do is put my outside... Um, linebackers on flats and that's it now this guy I want to align him and I can I can also spread my line a little bit but this is gonna be the look so I have outside coverage I have a guy to take away deep plays it's a really good base defense um, it's not necessarily the best run defense but you can see there's not there is good gap control as he loses a couple yards there so like I said we're just gonna spread our line and then we just have to manually put these guys you know and something I mean you can move them out too like they they can move you know for, for good run for good run defense as well as um, to get to the edge because if I want to put them like on an outside like typically I want to go outside with them as far as my adjustment I'm gonna go for coverages just put them on outside coverages because I don't want to put anything you know they, I don't want to give up anything I'll guess pass too but I don't want to give up anything to the sideline if I'm calling a play like this like I said we're just gonna I was gonna say we're probably gonna get a lot of run plays right I said there's nothing there you know what i mean like there's i don't know how he got behind <laughs> i almost i can't with the pick for a second i look at his head was getting behind it so here we go one more time like i said we're just gonna put these guys on their on their routes so bring this guy down i can use if i want to i can use the guy on the running back too and just you know like i said like because like the the tight end's not really on a coverage so you're gonna get small stuff. You're not gonna get big stuff. This is gonna shut down most things, double cover most things. So here we go one more time. Like I said, if I wanna, I could always align. I could always man this guy to the A route too, and then like take over for the if the running back goes on a route. So I don't necessarily want to leave that tight end open. So we might have a run play here. Said so we do. I'll just slip behind my blocker. No problem. One more time here. Like I said, if I want to reassign him to this guy, I can. Now we're just looking at, like I said, if the running back goes out on a route, he's my responsibility. But other than that, I could just freelance the middle. And he's just getting chopped up in the backfield anyway. So we're going to move up. Oh, I guess we're going to run one more time. No adjustments. No adjustments. No time for adjustments. And then it gets beat. Sure enough. So one more time. Everybody's manned up here. This is perfect. So I'll take this. I'm probably gonna get a little weird inside zone or something stupid like <laughs> of course, you know, so whatever. Still shut it down though. So there we go, one more time. Like I said, not a lot of adjustments. Like I said, I could just I could just reassign. Uh, I guess I can't even do that. So yeah, I messed that up. But yeah, like I said, I could reassign him. Was well, that a lineman? Is there a reason I can't reassign him to that uh, 
Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Messing up. Alright, so there we go. Like I said, we just do that. Give everybody a man option. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take away these middle routes. I mean, he's running for his life and he's gonna take off. So, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Nothing open. So, moving on. Next up out of the uh, nickel 335, we have the Sam Will Blitz 3. This year, all you gotta do is zone all your linebackers. And uh, I'd, I'd say typically put them in a, in a hard flat might be a better route too. But that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just a good coverage play. You'll have good coverage all over. And we'll get a weird handoff here or something. Watch. Like I said, I mean, you're not going to get much open. Especially if I'm using it like that. And then I hit Y and nothing happened. Like, I wasn't right there. But whatever. <laughs> See, there was, it was, would have been, it would have been there. So here we go. Once again, just zone all. And then put the guys on a hard flat. I find the hard flat's a little bit harder for people. Oh, and then I just, yo, oh, man, I thought, well, I don't know, I'm, I'm using slow. But you can see, I mean, definitely, uh, definitely a lot of coverage. You get a lot of coverage. And cover three seams are still going to be a problem. I mean, that's just part of cover three defense. Certain things beat cover three. Cover three seams. Uh, underneath, that's why I got the hard flats and uh, outside, like out routes and stuff. So here we go. So I'll take that away, and I'll have to take the check down. So I lose five yards. <laughs> so a good coverage play. Like I said I find I find cover three hard flats. It's one of the harder. Deep. There's definitely plays for it, but it's one of the people are gonna have a harder time stopping getting over that than anything. Look at that, all over it because of that hard flat. You know what I'm saying? Next up out of the Sam, the three Sam SS Blitz. So like I said, I'm just going to shift my defense to the left by hitting LB and then, you know, left on the right stick. Move this guy in here. I wish I could do them both, but, you know, <laughs> just I can only do one. The other one's going to go back out. And then this is pretty much it. So I'll just go across my line here. We'll get a pick. I'm guessing that was pressure related. can also do the uh, QB contain setup, uh, but like I said, this guy here, he's way out of position. I, I, I want him to get over. So we'll get him over there, we'll motion Chung out, and we'll get our user more to the middle. Like I said, I'm on the wrong route, but I'm going to, whoever I'm with, I'm going to use in the middle. So here we go. Like I said, right here, now I got them both in that area. Here we go with a weird play. Like I said, we'll just get that underneath stuff. So it's like, this is a good play. I mean, sometimes it's safe to come in. It's not the most consistent, but... Um, it's a good, it's a good variation to run off of this, off of this formation. Next up, by the big nickel over G, we have the linebacker blitz. No real adjustments needed here. I mean, it's just an all-out blitz. Uh, you'll get some pretty good a gap pressure. I find it's good to spread your line, but based off of the, uh, you know, the way that this is set up, they'll just, the, the linebackers won't have to turn, which will make it a little bit better. I don't want them having to turn. I want them just to go full sprint into the gaps. As you can see right there, I mean, it did a good job. Uh, stopping the run So like I said, I mean we're pretty much gonna get that I mean it's gonna you know There's always whatever run gap it, there is it's gonna fill So it's gonna be a good run defense, but ultimately I just want a good um, a good pass defense And like I mean we're just not getting any passes. They're losing yards every time, but we're not getting any passes So, you know, like I said, this is pretty much just gonna be a good, you know, good run defense I guess they're not gonna show me any pass plays you can go ahead and you can put the uh, QB contain on just to give them a little bit more space inside um, with those with those edges. And like I said, the quarterback might have to book it anyway. So here we finally get a pass play, and then I'm right on that. And like you can't you can't slip that past me. But you know, like I said, that right there, I mean there was like a they were like only sending two receivers out on the blitz. So, you know, the coverage isn't gonna be great, but you'll get some good pressure uh, typically as long as, you know, like right there. Like the guy came in free, had to get out right away. Watch the replay. You're gonna typically get some free guys, especially if everybody goes out on routes. You can see this guy's just coming in, coming in clean, right up the A gap. You're gonna see that quite a bit. They both came in clean up the A gap. <laughs> they both came by. Like that's that's not typical, but you'll see that sometimes too, I guess. But typically one. I'm typically gonna say that one gets through. But if both gets through, that means that even if the running backs pass blocking, one of them's still gonna get home. So good play. Next up out of the big nickel over G, we have the cover two. Um, this play, you can put a safety at this linebacker spot 
So all, all the linebacker spots really. So you can have a really good, um, you know, really good uh, amount of pass coverage defenders if you want to. So you know this play right here, I man. It's just a, it's just a straight up, you know, a good coverage uh, play. All I gotta do is put Melifamu here, who's a safety, um, into a middle third. And now I have a pretty good setup as far as pass defense. Um, you're just not, you know, there's not a lot of one-play touchdowns or nothing like that. I mean, against the run, it's not going to be great. But against the pass, you're not going to give up any one-play touchdowns or nothing like that because this particular defense doesn't really have a lot of one-play touchdowns against it. Um, there's some good cover two plays outside, but most people don't know those. And then, like I said, I'm, I'm not a great run defense, and I'm getting run on, of course. But typically, this is just like I said. You're, you're in like a third and ten or more. You can pull out a good cover two like this. You're not going to give up the first down because there's not a ton of plays that uh, will do that. Yeah, not a lot of ton of plays that'll, that'll, that'll find the openings in this defense if I can get, you know, of course, I blow the coverage. Of course. So like I said, just ultimately, you know, just a good third and long pass play defense, uh, but nothing more. You know, you just, nothing, not a lot of things get past this. I mean, I have a couple of my offensive side of the playbook that get outside of cover twos, but look at that. <laughs> Just like, woof, bouncing off his back. And then, I mean, obviously, you know, can stop the run. I didn't even make the adjustments there. I was preoccupied, but it can stop the run. So just like I said, just put that guy in the mid-third, and you won't give up anything deep. That's the idea. But like I said, your run your run defense is going to be slight because of all the uh, safeties instead of linebackers and stuff like that. But still a good base defense for third and long. Next up, we got the WS the Weak Safety Blitz 3. So this play right here, all I'm going to do is pinch my D-line. Hopefully this guy stops running off. Which, you know, they'll do that, so that'll mess up everything. I'm just going to bring this guy in right here. Although, typically, I'd want to bring the user there, but this is going to have to be my user on this play because of the there's no there's nobody out there. So I'll just bring this guy in and treat him like a yellow zone. And then, of course, we get a run, but, you know, the safety is going to come in free, so it doesn't matter. So, like I said, just pinch that line as quickly as possible because, for whatever reason, the, 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 the secondary is going to, like, reset every time. And then, like I said, I mean, I want to use this guy in this spot, but it is what it is. So I'll just bring this guy over. I got a feeling we're going to get another run play. Some probably weird ass, you know, whatever. Like I said, the, the, the free safety is stopping the run, though, so it doesn't really matter. So like I said, bring this guy in. Bring my man down. Safety gets in the way. Gets in the spot. And we're just getting, like I said, the safety's doing everything right now. I mean, he's stopping the plays everywhere. <laughs> stopping the run. Uh, he's just stopping everything. So here we go once again. Same issue. There's nobody on that side. So I'm just going to drop into a yellow with, with Melon Fonbu. Like I said, hopefully I mean, we, he goes wide there. Get some slants. You know, nothing you can really do about that. But, you know, it's going to be, it's, it's more a good run defense than it is a good pass defense. I mean, you're not going to get a ton of, ton of pressure off of that. I mean, if you can get him outside a little bit, maybe, but, you know, you'll get pressure. You just won't get it at the rate that, you know, you would think. Like I said, I'll bring this guy down. But um, you'll get pressure from time to time from him, but he's really just stopping a lot, a lot of runs and whatnot. So, like I said, right here, like I said, once again, the safety really stresses the play out and makes the play for the most part. So having that blitzing safety is really more about that. Next up out of the Sam 236, we have the cover four drop. It's another good cover four play. They have three cover four plays. Some playbooks don't have any cover four plays, but this one has three cover four plays. It's not going to be good against the run because the formation is too small. But um, if somebody's coming out and really pass heavy stuff, and you want to keep up with them, you know, like empty, you know, empty backfields and whatnot, shotgun empty guns and whatnot, and you want to keep up with them, you can come out with this rather than three four, which, like I said, some playbooks don't have any. But at least in this scenario, um, you have something where for you know set up for speed, not necessarily size. And then right there, I just <laughs> I don't know why I quit on that route. I don't know what I was thinking there. But uh, ultimately, like I said, cover fours. You know, there's not a lot of openings. Um, you know, like I said, but like it's not a great run play because you know you, you can get outsized easily. But still, a good another good, good cover four play. Next up out of the one four six, I'm going to do the. Where's it out here? The cross three fire. 
Make sure you put the safeties at your linebackers. And then all I'm going to do here, I'm going to I'm going to spread, do the, um, you know, do my uh, my adjustment, which is the QB contain. This is my user here, so I mean, I can just I don't really have to do too much, but basically this is just going to spread the play out so that we can get some good crossing defenders inside. It's not obviously going to be a good a good run defense. You're only going to use this in scenarios where um, it's an obvious passing situation because you can see how far apart the defense is spread. Um, but that's still going to work out. Like I said, this is still going to be a good play. Um, you know, you can see right here, I mean, you get a lot of crossing. Man, i got to do a better job of covering. Look at that weird. <laughs> that was a weird glitch. So I just got to do my job of usering here. Like I said, I can base a line as well. And, uh, I mean, I typically want to try to bring this guy out just to try to get a little attention outside because I want to spread this play so these guys can work inside. That's pretty much the idea. And, like, if you can see, like I said, we're just getting pressure right up the middle because of that stunt. So let's watch the replay. Like I said, I'm just spreading so these, these guys can mix it up inside. And the outside guy actually got the inside release because of the way this is. This is so glitchy. These guys just don't know how to communicate with one another, and they'll just let free guys in. Or then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.